What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're gonna be doing a gameplay with a really, really interesting card, and that is going to be Ben Wallace, lads. Probably, probably the single best defensive player in my team. Probably the best defender. Now this guy, he's not quite Giannis in terms of just all around play. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, he's not. But like if we're talking purely on the defensive end, I mean I think you can make the argument that he's he's better. And I think in terms of his ability, just because of his wide player build, he doesn't have the length of a Yanis, but he has the speed of a Yanis and he has the player build of a Yanis. So it is a really, really close one. Who you guys prefer on the defensive end, Ben Wallace or Yanis? And I think that there is an argument to be made for both. But Ben Wallace is like super, super cheap. Anyway, 91 off has 99 defense overall. 15 halves, brick wall, pickpocket, rim protector. Um, Pickpocketing is the one extra half badge he has. I literally just got him because of the cool card art. Rim protector, chase down at his box, clamps, defense leader, deceptor, intimidator, rebound chaser, pogo, post lockdown, tireless defender, war, and menace. So those 40 gold badges. The 40 gold badges, in terms of shooting, he only has like catch and shoot, which again, isn't really the greatest. Well, sorry, which is really the most important badge for him to have. He gets gold quick for a step, gets gold on strippable. You can play him with the two, you can play him with the three. He's equally effective as both, to be honest. And the reason I probably play him with the three is because he stands in the corner more often. And he's got hot zones in the corner with a really chick release. So even though he does have a low three ball, he should be okay. 90 driving dunk though, 86 ball handle. Good steal, good, or really good steal. Really good block, 97, 97, 90 perimeter defense, 96 interior. 98 offense and defensive rebounding, 95 speed, 80 speed ball, 95 acceleration, and 97 lateral. And again, he's like 25,000 MT. But the big thing is, if you look at his tendencies, he's got zero three-point, zero mid-range. Teams leave him wide open. Like, he will be gl he will glitch off, he will be glitched off so often from teams just leaving him open on defense. And um, he's got a 100 driving dunk and flashy dunk. But if we look at his tendencies, 10 crash, but 100 interception, 100 steal, 100 block, 100 contest, 5 fell, 5 hard fell, and 0 take charge. He has the perfect, he has perfect defensive tendencies. He has perfect tendency slots, which is kind of crazy. Like literally perfect tendencies. Does he? Okay, so he's not currently in the squad that we just used. But again, 25,000 empty. Both Ben Wallace cards are the same, by the way. They are literally, going, they feel the exact same in game. There is no difference. You are not going to notice a difference between Ben Wallace and Ben Wallace. Like, I think that there's there are some cards where there is a difference between the Power Within and the normal card. Uh, ben Wallace is not one of them. Even though I did buy the Power Within one, that's more so just as a as a shout out to Jacob, who is a huge Ben Wallace fan. You guys can see there. I just pulled up from the top of the key. Green, green base thirty-seven on very quick is a super nice release. Like it's good on quick. Uh, Bill Walton has it on quick but it's really good on very quick. So again, maybe you want to give him a, a half badge or two, like range, there's no point giving him range, unless you want him, read, you want him spotting up on hash. Because again, with like shoe, like if I go and give him a three point shoe, because again, he comes with shifty dribble style. If I give him a three point shoe of plus four, his three goes to 78. And then I have a coach who gives him plus five, it goes to 83. And then after that, if you got floor general, it goes to 87. So if you give him all that stuff um, and you want to you want him spotting up on hash. That means, like, at an 87 three ball, he'll be able to shoot consistently from here. Like, obviously, he's not going to hit at all from here um, without with his current rating. But if he gets up to 87 and you want to shoot from hash, you want him spotting up from here and hitting, you can you can give him goal range, but I don't really see much of a point in it. But still, like, he, he can move. Again, shifty dribble style. He's got that normal behind the back, which is a really, really nice behind the back. So his movement is really good. Um, again... He will dribble the ball as well as most players at that two guard position. Like, look at the way, just look at the movement, lads. And as well as that, like, this is just his offense. We are just talking about his offense right now. He's got the normal leaner. He's got hot zones inside the three point line, thankfully. I don't think his mid range, as far as more, is that bad. His three pointer is low. Like, his three pointer is quite low, honestly, just because it's, um, his mid range is 80, so it's okay. Okay, so again, he doesn't get like difficult shots or anything, but he gets set shooter as well, which is good. He can hit, he's got the normal in there, but like if he's wide open three point lines, the reason why, if he's just left wide open, because he will get a lot of space because of 
um, the ten or his lack of three point tendencies. Teams will leave them open, especially if they don't go to settings. So Ben Wallace, with that set shooter badge, if he gets left open, and that catch and shoot badge, if you go and give him corner specialist, if you go and give Ben Wallace like a corner specialist badge and play him at small forward, he's not going to miss very often. He's really not going to miss very often, even with the low three point rating. He's because of his release as well. He's really, really good. So anyway, now we're going to green a three. Need to get, need to get this green, need to get this green meter shot for the thumbnail. There we go. That works. Now we're going to get on to a game with Ben Wallace. So we're going to put him, we're going to play him a small forward. We're going to have him guard ball. We're going to have him guard ball. Luca's going to play at the one because he's got the hot floor general and he's got decent height. So you got to move Mobley out of the two. Uh, but I want to play at the two instead of him. Do I have any good defenders to play at the two? Uh, my two guy position is really lacking, isn't it? Oh no, Reddish. What am I talking about? Just play Reddish there. And um, power forward. I'm going to play Burke there. I'm going to play point guard. Scroll all the way to Ruby. I'm going to play Sabonis at center. Which I might be the first person in history to actually play Sabonis as an actual position. Let's play Pop Burke in there. Okay, so. Yeah, Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace is going to guard ball. Luke is going to be on small forward. And um, we're going to see how he gets on. And we should be able to create with enough of our guys. Whether that be using... Um, ben Wallace as a role guy at the shooting guard position can be very effective. Like two-man game using him. Use, him. use him like you'd use Giannis. That's the way it is. It's just he's a different type of player to Giannis. He moves way better than Giannis. He shoots quite a bit worse than Giannis. But um, he will be the better on-ball defender and straight away he's in his settings. Okay, it's fine. You're in your settings. I'm going to go my settings. Okay, so he's got Reddish. He's got Cade. So he's going to be a good matchup to Cade. And we're both running Sabonis at center. Okay, both of us have realized that he is just a Galaxy Opal center. Oh, and what have I done? We're there. Good defense, Reddish. Unlucky. Um... Wallace is going to match up to Cade for the next possession. He's going to knock both of these down. So bonus is not missing a free throw. Okay, good job. Okay, come on. Pour one in. Did they really? Why are they guard? Oh, I forgot they're not. He doesn't have the help out of the corner setting ready. He's not gonna help off the corners because of the um, setting that he has. I'm cool with him with the ball in his hands. This is unlucky, man. This is unlucky. Launch, launch. Oh my god, why won't you launch? Three baseline. Yeah, we're good. Does he give me space? Nope. We're not good at all. You guys attack, hit the big. They're really not helping off Ben Wallace at all. So Ben Wallace is gonna have to play defense. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna get out of the press and instead play. Um, the half court press. Just get some more pressure on him in the half court. Okay. And Ben Wallace is obviously stopping that one there. Okay, let's get the ball into Ben Wallace's hands now. Let him go to the basket. Maybe finish the lap. If not, we're good. We're good in that position here. Is he gonna get the dunk here? No, he's not. It's a bad miss. But Luca is waiting right there for the dunk. Let's go. So we're gonna go into the half court press instead. Just to get some a little bit more pressure on them when they crossed the halfway line. And for some reason he was left wide open. Yes, yeah, Sabonis, you can dribble the ball. Okay, we're good. He's hit Sabonis running through. And Sabonis misses that. Come on. Good defense, Luca. How is that not steal? Good defense by Ben Wallace there. Run. Run, run. They're going to leave him open in the corner off this because of the tendencies. There we go. Chick, come on. Chick, man. He is a very, very nice. When he's wide open, he will hit his shots. Uh, he will shoot the ball better. And he's just... Look at him. He's a bully. He's a bully. Just look. We did the K. Cunningham right there. He literally just said, you know what? Screw this. And shoved K. Cunningham into the backcourt. Go. You can roll. You can roll hard, Ben Wallace. He's got basket side. Nope, Rudy Gay got back basket side. It's fine. Luca's gonna be there. And Luca. 
Nearly gives it the four-point play. All right, he's in the press. That's actually kind of good for me. I don't mind the fact that he's pressing me at all. Wrong icon. I'm way, I'm in really bad position here. But Arvita Sabonis runs in a circle and draws the foul. Come on. Thought maybe we could have gotten into position for the dunk, but... I mean, because Savonis is like ball handling and the fact he's a point guard, he's actually a really, really good dribbling center. You can kind of, like, you, you don't want to initiate your offense through Savonis, but the thing is, you actually can. That's the scary part about every Savonis for me, is that you actually can if you want. Initiate your offense? Nope, he's just a bully. Give me that. Ah, oh, I took that. I shouldn't have taken that. Should not have taken that. But he did just shove Cade. He just steal the ball off Cade out of nothing. No, we got to give that up, unfortunately. All right, let's not try any crazy stuff with him. Just play honest. They're going to have to help off somewhere, and they don't, so they give me a wide open dunk. Okay, I'm going to on-ball this. He's just gotten over that screen like it's not even there. Sabonis is just not able to guard Sabonis for some reason. I did not expect that. I thought Sabonis was going to actually be able to live with, with himself just because of the height situation. Sabonis. What is up with his Sabonis getting every block and my Sabonis is not playing defense? He should be left wide open, which he is was for a second there. And Luca gets a wide open midi. Good job. Another steal from Ben Wallace. But at the end of the day, like Ben Wallace is a defender. That's what he's there for. He literally gets over screens like they're not even there. Don't help off the corner. Great defense. Catch the ball. Good. Run, 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 run. Ben Wallace there in the corner. For no, 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 don't shoot that. Ah, that's good defense. That's just good defense. I thought he was going to run me off the three-point line. He didn't. He waited for the mid-range shot, and I pulled up, and he got play good defense. Like, there are times where you just got to give credit to your opponent, and that's one of them. Good defense there. Always oh, on the break. I'm actually not worried at all about that. I should just press square, and I'd be good. That's a terrible foul, Mick. All you have to do is play honest there. We're in the bonus, so I can't really start spamming, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. But again, Ben Wallace, is, he's shown what he can do on the defensive end. Um, Rudy Gay's a good enough defender that I do not want um, to have to live with him. Get some bonus involved in pick and roll, which we have done. Ben Wallace, easy roll, easy done. Come on. I can play on ball here. Like, Ben Wallace is that good on defense that I can say, screw it, I'll play on ball. If you guys know, that's Ben Wallace just getting in, just getting his body in the way right there. If you know how little I play on ball defense in this game, I mean, I can if I need to. Like, if you if you ask me to play on ball defense, I can at times, but I don't, ideally I wouldn't. Okay, we got the switch, we're fine. Because we got another switch right here. And that's, that's defense. That is all defense. Because we're able to switch everything on that. With Ben Wallace in there, we are able to switch everything. Um, just maybe he's not going to be in there, in there in time, which he's not. And Ben Wallace gets swatted by Rudy Gay. That's just 2K22 for you in a nutshell. Steal. Got him. One more into the corner. Give me that. Oh, he's, he's get, they're getting contests because I'm just, just taking shots that maybe aren't as open as I think they are. I should have went in. It's fine. Just a one more big defensive possession from him. Let's just double down and wait for the pass. We're there. That's terrible just offense by him. And our defense anchored by this Ben Wallace has been exceptional. Like, I just want to see what his free throw is like. I think it's I think it's like 80. Yeah, I don't think it's great. But he's still going to hit the free throws. Like, look, he's played his defense. He's done everything needed on the defensive end. That's all we can ask for here, because he is a defender. And he's played the role, he's played his role perfectly. We Orwin L1 the whole way from Pat Burke, and he hits the midi. Still nine points here. May not look like a crazy thing. Two steals though. Ben Wallace with a serious, serious performance there. Doing exactly what you'd want out of, well, a small forward Ben Wallace. The way the game is this year, with how easy it is to green when he's wide open, when you're wide open. Ben Wallace, he shot badly. I chucked up some shots and he did get blocked in a few dunks. Which is just a casualty of the game. I could just wore you two steals. 
He gets body in the way of you bosses. No, Ben Wallace was really nice there. Is he better than Giannis? No. Is he at a similar level? Yeah. I'm just saying, he's at a similar level because he has that ability to burst. He has that ability to burst. He has that ability to be that secondary ball handler that Giannis doesn't. Is he the greatest secondary ball handler in the game? Hell no, but he has the ability to be one. Which is... Which is nuts. Which is nuts. Like, this guy right here for his price, for 25k, is insane. He's insane. He's a different type of player to a Cam Reddish. He's a different type of player to a Orj Barrett. And I think for me, anyway, I think on my squad, I'm going to run, like, one of Mobley and... <laughs> Ben, Mobley and Ben Wallace are going to be my small forwards, and Orj Barrett and Cam Reddish are going to be my two guards. And I'm going to feel like I can compete with anybody with those guys. They are that nice. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it for Ben Wallace. A really, really good card. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.